my name is Laureen. And I'm Mauricio. We are both part-time tutors for economics and French and master students at LSE and UCL. And we came up with an idea to make everybody at university a tutor. We've all heard it before. Teaching someone is the best way to learn something. Or when you're able to teach something, it means you completely understand it. Well, we thought we'd take advantage of this idea. And this is what we came up with. So we would like to create an application and a website which lets you consult with other students across the UK or in your own university when you have questions about what you're studying. So in the national sense, in the UK sense, where all of the universities participate, we've all been in situations where we were stuck in a concept and we could not solve the problem alone. We've been on holidays too, studying at back home in Peru or in France, and our friends might not be contactable at that point in time. Our lecturers are also in holidays. However, this app could help us take a picture of the problem that we're dealing with, or just even write it down in the, in the app. Someone else, a student, a teacher, a lecturer, anybody will be able to pick it up and help you. So they would just write down the explanation, send you a video or a voice note, and then it's done. You can move forward and continue studying. So it's a really easy way to get someone else to help you. It could also be anonymous. In our experience, a lot of people are just ashamed of asking for help. So that's the best way for them to not be ashamed of asking for help. <laughs> and it could be monitored so that students do not post assignments that are there made, meant to solve on their own. Okay, so people have an incentive to ask questions, but not an incentive to answer them. As we said at the beginning, the best way to learn is to teach. But if that doesn't sound enough for you, we could create an incentive program in the university. So for example, if you help five students during the term, you can get a few more points. Or we can make it ob obligatory. Or we can create student discounts in the student at the student union. Or of course, we can just use the classic whole monetary incentive. Yeah, the other way in which we thought the app could help people is by allowing them to meet face to face to ask for queries, just like in a classical tutoring session. We've both been tutoring for some time and understand that this is the best way to, to teach somebody. Um, somebody could be in the library, you can be in the first floor, and somebody that needs help can be in the third floor. You put yourself as available that you can help somebody, and then you meet and you have a chat. So there are a lot of people with a lot of questions and a lot of people with a lot of answers, but they don't meet as frequently as we think we sh they should do. So this would reduce the space between the people and the time spent trying to solve the problem. And a an example could be when I'm trying to solve an uh, econometric derivation. It's really easy to miss some steps, and many times the lecturers and the tutors don't give you all the steps. So I could just be stuck, take some picture, of what I'm doing, then send it over to the app, say, hey, can anybody help me with this? And somebody else will be able to solve it with me. Alternatively, they could, or two people could meet in the library and have a short chat about it. So the benefits of this app and web page, because not everybody has a smartphone, it would be to first reduce the cost of having to ask help to someone, because we all know that it's a little bit annoying to ask to someone which we think is going to take time and we don't want to bother anyone. Um, it can also be incentivized in different ways. Uh, people can just say, earn some money or some people are just altruistic and they just want to help or they can find new challenges in solving problems. It's also very, it's very, very easy to maintain. Just like other sharing economy apps, it's just a platform to connect people. And it's also very simple. You ask a question, you get the answer without even moving from your chair. This is a different way to communicate, which takes advantage of the network effects. The more people that use this app or this web page, the better it gets. And that's why we believe it needs an app of its own. So this is a very simple idea and we think it has a lot of potential. So if you really like it, you can vote for us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Vote for us.